Hi, I'm Eric. I'm Anand. And I'm Danny. And we work here at Sun Labs. This week our box went on vacation, so we decided to make ourselves a little movie. We work in a data center and realized we were spending all day rolling out software updates. Anand, take us to the data center. Will do. It's a small data center, but it packs quite a punch. Software system is called Livestar. With it, not only can you build a virtual appliance out of individual software images, but you can upgrade each individual image without losing any of your data. So when you install a package by hand and then upgrade the virtual appliance or any of its modules, you won't lose your data. To illustrate this, we'll deploy an appliance composed of Fedora 8 and a Sun Java image. Then we'll install an application on top and exchange the Fedora 8 image with Fedora 9. And the software we install by hand won't be lost. This is a GUI we've developed to make deploying software really easy. The GUI is so simple because all the hard work is done by the images themselves. Software modules configure themselves to build a single virtual appliance. So let's build one of these appliances. We're going to start by picking our hardware. So let's look at the swap size, say 250 megabytes. And our copy up space, about 134 sounds good to me. Now we're going to pick some software images. So I like Fedora 8, that's a good operating system. And Sun Java, that's also an exciting piece of software to install. So now we're going to build this. As we can see, we're running uh, Fedora Core 8. And and check out the job we've installed. There it is. Now, let's say the user wants to run his or her own software. A common example amongst our users is a 3D molecular analyzer. Users often download this program. But it requires 3D Java extensions. So let's install these extensions. And now let's run the program again. It appears to be running this time. There it goes. And there we go. There's our beautiful molecule. But guys, what happens in six months when we come along and install Fedora Core 9? Not a problem. Watch and see how nothing that the user installs by hand is lost. This time, instead of picking Fedora 8, we're going to pick Fedora 9, and then we're going to launch the VM. Now that I've launched the virtual machine, I want to show you that Fedora Core 9 is really installed. As you can see, we still have Fedora Core 9. I also want to show you that our 3D extensions that we installed earlier are also here. So let's launch that molecular viewer one more time. And here's our molecule one more time. So, really, we've just upgraded our entire operating system with only two mouse clicks and lost none of the software we installed by hand. So now that we have Livestar, what are we going to do with all of our free time? Hmm, I have an idea.